Have you ever picked up a tub of Aquaphor in one hand and Vaseline in the other, totally confused about which one your skin actually needs? They look the same, they feel kind of similar, and they both promise soft, healthy skin. So what's the catch? Believe it or not, these two skincare staples are not created equal. Today, we're breaking down the real differences, ingredients, texture, uses, and which one wins in different skin situations. Let's dive in, layer by layer, right here on History of Simple Things. Let's start with Vaseline, the older of the two. Discovered in the 1860s by chemist Robert Cheesebro, it came from a waxy substance oil workers used on burns and cuts. After refining and branding it as Vaseline, it became a household staple. And 150 years later, it's still widely used for dry skin, healing scrapes, protecting lips, and even removing makeup. Aquaphor came later, created by German skincare brand Eucerin in the 1920s. Unlike Vaseline, it's not pure petroleum jelly. It's 41% petroleum jelly blended with mineral oil, lanolin alcohol, glycerin, and panthenol. These extras give it a different texture and added healing benefits, making Aquaphor more of a healing ointment than just a simple barrier. Let's start with the basics. Aquaphor and Vaseline are both occlusive moisturizers, which means they act like a barrier over the skin to lock in moisture. But that's pretty much where the similarities end. Vaseline is made of one thing only, 100% petroleum jelly. It doesn't try to multitask, it simply creates a protective film on top of your skin. What that means is that it doesn't actually add hydration on its own, it just locks in whatever is already there. It's like putting a lid on a pot, keeping everything from evaporating. Aquaphor takes a more complex approach. Though mostly petroleum jelly, the added ingredients make a big difference. Glycerin, for example, is a humectant, it draws water into your skin from the air and from deeper layers. Panthenol, a form of vitamin B5, helps skin repair itself. Lanolin conditions and softens, while bisabolol, an extract from chamomile, helps soothe irritation. Together, these additions make Aquaphor a hybrid, part barrier, part healer. If you've ever used both, you probably noticed right away that they feel different. Vaseline is heavier and more greasy. It sits on top of the skin for a while, which makes it excellent for really dry patches or cracked heels. But not everyone enjoys that sticky texture on their face or hands during the day. Aquaphor feels a bit lighter. It spreads more easily and has a softer, creamier consistency. It still seals in moisture, but it feels more breathable which is why people often choose it for lips, hands, or anywhere they want protection without the heavy finish. So when should you use each one? Vaseline shines in situations where your main goal is to protect. Cracked heels, elbows that feel like sandpaper, chapped lips. A thin layer of Vaseline creates an almost unbeatable barrier that helps your skin hold on to the moisture it already has. It's also a lifesaver for minor cuts and scrapes, and even diaper rash. Aquaphor steps in when your skin is not just dry, but irritated. Think about eczema flare-ups, minor burns, fresh tattoos, or post-procedure skin that's healing from a peel or laser treatment. Its added ingredients make it more than a barrier. It helps your skin calm down and recover. Another big difference is versatility in daily routines. Both Vaseline and Aquaphor are incredibly multi-purpose. People use Vaseline for slugging, 
a skincare trend where you coat your face at night so you wake up with extra soft skin. It's also useful for preventing chaffing, grooming brows, protecting skin from hair dye stains, and even highlighting cheekbones for a dewy look. Aquaphor works for many of these too, but it's especially loved in the tattoo community for aftercare because it keeps inked skin moist without smothering it. It's also a favorite for healing new piercings, soothing dry cuticles, and calming flaky skin around the nose during a cold. Makeup artists even use it as a base for glowing skin because it sits so comfortably under makeup. Both products are generally very safe. Vaseline is hypoallergenic and non-comedogenic, so it doesn't clog pores. Its biggest drawback? That thick, greasy feel that some people don't like on their face. Aquaphor is also well tolerated by most skin types, but there is one small caveat. It contains lanolin, a wool-derived ingredient. A small number of people are sensitive to it. So if you've never tried Aquaphor before, do a patch test first to be sure. So which one should you pick? If you prefer simple, budget-friendly, and straightforward, Vaseline is a classic that will always do what it promises. Lock in moisture and protect. If you're looking for something that does a little more, pulling in hydration, soothing irritation, and helping with healing, Aquaphor offers that extra boost. And here's a pro tip. To get the best results from either, don't just slap it on dry skin. Start with a water-based moisturizer or even a little bit of dampness from washing your face. Then apply a thin layer of Vaseline or Aquaphor on top. That's how you trap that hydration where you want it. So, which one should you go for? If you need a simple, budget-friendly moisture seal, go with Vaseline. But if you want added hydration and healing for irritated or sensitive skin, Aquaphor is the better pick. It's gentler, more soothing, and feels better for daily use. So the next time you're choosing between Aquaphor and Vaseline, remember, Vaseline is best for sealing and moisture, while Aquaphor adds healing and hydration. Both have their strengths. Knowing when to use each can make a big difference in your skincare routine. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.